Okay, we are back. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here with my lovely and talented co-host, Miss Andrea Kay. And we have Stephanie Murphy sitting in for Al Arias today. We have our first guest, Mr. Uh, David, David Rivera. Rivera. I, I kept looking down at, at uh, the, the, his father's name who started the business, but welcome, David. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you having me on today. Great, great. So tell us, you're, you're with George's Camera. Tell us a little bit more about, uh, about the camera shop. Absolutely. Uh, George's Camera was started in 1965 by my father, George. That's the name George's Camera. Uh, and uh, we, we love creativity. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, keep it, keeping it simple. <laughs> the uh, and uh, so at one time he did have uh, four stores in San Diego, but decided that uh, you know it was a little bit easier to run a single operation, and was lucky enough to purchase a building in the North Park area. And that's where we've been up uh, and including now. But uh, Mm -hmm. since uh, I think 73 was when he opened that particular store. And uh, this year we are one of uh, two camera stores in the entire country that has expanded and uh, a very challenging market in the Mm -hmm. photo industry. Um, Well, I have to I'd have to think um, let's go back a few years back to when the recession came in. And everybody's business got hit. And, you know, while everybody's sitting there with with all their photography equipment sitting on their cell phones, how did you survive through through that kind of debacle? Well, you know, it, it's definitely a challenge. This The, the industry has uh, – uh, the the cell phone obviously has has created a lot of opportunity for people to get into photography, but at the same time, it's also taken away uh, where somebody may have purchased a camera, and they now have it on their cell phone. Mm-hmm. So it it's definitely changed the the dynamics. Let's call it. Uh, you know, it was funny because for many years, recession proof, we were in a recession proof. Uh, type of industry Uh, because everyone needs photography doesn't matter excuse me doesn't matter what uh, what you do whether you're a law firm whether you're a PR firm whether uh, you're in sports uh, just about every business needs photography we need images and so uh, we used to pride ourselves on the fact that through all the recessions that the company existed we never really seemed to have a problem uh, but technology has has been probably the bigger challenge. Uh, obviously, internet and uh, making cameras available just about everywhere. Well, well t- tell me something. You know, uh, we talked a little bit before the show went uh, live, and um, you know, the, if you take a look at some of these magnificent cell phones today, okay, they have everything under the sun. They do everything except wash your dishes at home. Okay, you know, they have the they go from. You know, they went from one megapixel cameras. Now they're probably 40 megapixels, whatever they've got. I, I had one phone for a while that had an ultra pixel. I'm trying to figure out what that meant. Um, you know, but there's still a huge difference no matter what we do on our phones. Tell us the difference between, you know, quality photography equipment versus what we get on our everyday cell phone. Oh, absolutely. The, and the cell phone, not to take away from it, it does take a, a nice picture. Uh, it's very limited. Uh, one of the, the biggest challenges with the cell phone is if you look at your cell phone, the lens itself is is tiny. Uh, and that's really where the quality is coming from. You can have 40, I think it's uh, Nokia or somebody has a 41 megapixel uh, cell phone. Right. However, you can put that up against a 12 megapixel camera and it just can't compare because the resolving power within the lens and the technology of the lens is where a lot of the picture quality is going to come from. So, yet it looks decent on your little phone. You start to try and print an 8x10 or something larger from that image. It's not going to hold up. Right. Nothing like even a $100 uh, camera will. Right. So it, it sounds as though people, so many people today, what you're saying is, are so much more interested in images because of social media and so much going on with our lives. But they need to take it to the next step and not just use their cell phone to document their lives. And that's perfect because that's where we come in. That's our specialty is taking somebody that has now become passionate about capturing images and helping them evolve into somebody that considers themselves a uh, hobbyist or a photographer. Uh, and, and that's one of our specialties, is really helping somebody evolve 
to that next step. How do you do that? Well, it, we offer everything from uh, classes on basic photography. Uh, we do classes on how to take better pictures with your cell phone, believe it or not, oh, because do? that's okay. where it starts. Okay. And so, but we, you know, we take you from absolute basic photography all the way up through advanced photography. Uh, we do a lot of uh, events with uh, the major camera manufacturers and having them come in with guest speakers. In some cases, uh, some of these photographers were uh, the president's photographers from the White House. Uh, oh, wow. The history and the, uh, you know, it, it's unbelievable just the amount of uh, history that there is when it comes to photography and uh, the stories. They're, they're absolutely amazing. And, and it's such a way to develop and share stories of your life, whether it's your professional life and you've got a business that you want to get that story out through social media or your family, yeah. you know? Yeah. Well, I think before we go too far, I think we should um, uh, let our listeners know, because you're, you're a uh, retail uh, store, where are your stores located? Uh, well, we have our, our first store is on 30th Street in North Park. It's 3837 30th Street. And our new uh, grand opening location, which we have the grand opening this weekend, uh, is 7475 Claremont Mesa Boulevard in Kearney Mesa. Okay. What's, the, what's the nearest cross street to that? Uh, it's Claremont Mesa Boulevard and, and Ruffner Road. Ruffner, okay. Yeah. So that's that's right near 805, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's literally right in the middle between 805 and 163. Okay. okay. So we Good. strategically were looking for that particular area for for the business because it's so central to San Diego and mm -hmm. even North San Diego. Uh, there was a store up in the uh, uh, Escondido area that closed. That was you know a fairly nice store and. Uh, there's nothing up there now. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of those people found it a challenge to come to us all the way down in North Park, but this cuts that drive quite a, quite a bit. Yeah. Well, you know, you've talked a lot about, uh, to us, before we got on air, about, you know, how people need to um, document and, and, you know, image preservation and, and things like that. Why, why, why not just on your cell phone? What's the big difference? Why do we want to have image preservation in professional equipment? Well, it, and in your cell phone. Right. But it, the, the reason being is so many people today, they're capturing all these great images on their cell phone. And one of the, uh, uh, the scary parts about that is that image, for the most part, is sitting on the phone. And that's the only place where that image reside, right. resides. Excuse me. So what you potentially end up with is somebody that loses that phone or upgrades the phone and forgets to get those pictures, they're losing all that content. Years ago, you took a roll of film, you took it to hopefully George's camera, you got it developed, you got prints back. That was a hard copy. You had your negatives, you had your prints, you put it into a photo album. That was preservation for those images. Uh, today, when you're talking about cloud-based uh, or in, in some cases, people are just putting images on uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. And if something happens to that account, something happens to... And it happens. It, it, it happens. can happen. It can happen. Uh, right now, we're having an issue with uh, uh, Instagram where somebody lost the password to our Instagram account and we're having a real tough time getting Instagram to give us back our account. Oh, really? And so things people don't realize, but those images can be held from you. Wow. I didn't know and, that. And, and it's a scary proposition when that's, that's the proof of your life. That's your history. Yeah, I was lucky after I after I damaged my phone that I had downloaded and saved some of the pictures of my baby pickles. Remember my Shih mm -hmm, Tzu? Sure. Because otherwise I would have been devastated. I wouldn't have had any images right. of her. So, yeah. So Interesting. They need to come to you. and uh, Absolutely. And we can print directly from the cell phone, which oh. it makes it so easy. You can have all the 4 by 6 prints or 8 by 10 whatever size you want to do. You can get those from your cell phone just by walking into one of our stores and going up to the kiosk. All right. Well, I'll be there Saturday then because I need to. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. You're listening to Close Up on San Diego Business here on KFSD AM 1450, a Bloomberg radio station streaming live on the web at financialnewsandtalk.com. Give us a tweet at Close Up SD or find our page on Facebook. We want to hear from you. I'm your host, Barry Waxler, here with my co-host, Andrea Kay. 
and Stephanie Murphy, and our guest is David Rivera from George's Camera. So um, you have two locations, uh, the new one opening up on, on the weekend. Um, tell us a little bit about the, you know, what we, what we see. What do we see when we walk into your store? Uh, well, you know, it's a traditional camera store. Uh, in our first store in North Park, uh, it's definitely a camera store that when a photographer that's been shopping in the industry for many years, they walk in, they feel at home. It's, it's not your uh, Best Buy, Costco kind of. Will the, the layperson, the non-professional photographer feel comfortable and at home or will they feel intimidated when they walk you in? Know, you know, believe it or not, that's been the biggest challenge for the photo specialty dealers out there is to make it a welcoming and inviting environment. We do our best with our employees. We have excellent employees. We've won uh, the best of San Diego with the Union Tribune for the last four years that they've done it. Uh, so we try to make it as inviting as possible. However, that is definitely a challenge that we we have in designing our our new store in uh, on Claremont Mesa Boulevard in Kearney Mesa. Uh, that was a, a, an area that we really went to attack in the redesign was to make it look like a very inviting, uh, very open space. Not intimidating. Not intimidating. As a matter of fact, we decided not to put counters, sales counters in the store and just have an open area where actually customers can come in, sit down at a table and discuss photography. Oh, wonderful. So you've changed the environment of how even sales take place today. Right. Right. So so anybody can walk in there, get the information without having to feel – Intimidated. Uh, intimidated, yeah. That, yeah. That, that, that's got to be huge. It, it's been fantastic. Yeah. As a matter of fact, when we do our remodel of our North Park store, we'll be redesigning the store to, to fit this business model. Now, your grand opening events are this Friday and Saturday. What are you going to be doing as part of the, the events? Anything special? Oh, gosh. We have all sorts. We have... Uh, uh, one of the manufacturers, Tamron, they manufacture lenses. They're they're showing up tomorrow with a tailgate tour that they've been touring around this uh, the country, and so we have a big event there: free food, free uh, lessons, awesome. classes. Uh, uh, there's quite a few speakers coming to to talk. Uh, we uh, on Saturday we have all the manufacturers will be at George's camera in the. Uh, Kearney Mesa store, the new location, and uh, you know Nikon, Canon, Sony, you Great. you name it, they'll all be there showing equipment, having specials. Uh, we'll also have classes going on all day that are also free. Oh, Great. fantastic! Great. Well, we're starting to run short on time. Do uh, one one last thing for you. Um, tell our listeners how they find you on the web so they can get more information anytime they need. Absolutely, it's www georgescamera.com uh, and uh, you know all the information for basically the events and everything we've got going on is there and we always encourage people to to uh, click our uh, join our email newsletter and uh, that's another way to stay in touch and stay get all the latest stay awesome. in touch get thank all you the so much Great. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. You guys have a wonderful day. You Great. too. You're listening to Close Up on San Diego Business, where we get up close and personal with homegrown San Diego business and the people that are working hard to make a difference in our community. Send us a tweet at Close Up SD or just find us on Facebook and let us know what you think. I'm your host, Barry Waxler. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. <laughs> 